Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Andrew Warner, and I'm a Windows 10 technology specialist here at Microsoft UK. I'm just going to take about 10 minutes of your time to demonstrate the out of box experience we get with Windows 10 and the capability to join it remotely to your corporate uh, environment and to have it managed, configured, and even deploy applications all remotely utilizing cloud services. So, this is the Windows 10 out of the box experience. The first option I have is to choose whether I want to own the device myself or whether this is an organizationally owned um, device. So I'm going to say my organization owns this PC. Next, it will say how do I want to log into the device. So I can either choose a standard domain login or I can choose my Azure Active Directory. Now, I'm actually working at home, so I can't choose a domain login because I'm not in the office to be able to do that. So I'm going to use the cloud service and log into Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory is actually uh, an extension of my on-premises domain, so I can log in with my normal corporate credentials. You'll also notice that at that stage there, it picks up um, any corporate identity. So my logo is up here and any information from my organization or IT um, is down here. So at this stage here, um, it's going to do um, start setting up the machine for me and start setting up my user profile. So we're going to have to wait uh, a minute or two while it does that. This whole process of being able to dynamically provision and log into this machine um, to my corporate environment will take about um, up to about 10 minutes. So we get some nice reassuring messages that uh, Windows 10 is configuring itself and setting itself up for me, which is all good. What we're going to see next is some of my corporate policies being applied to that device. Uh, and the first obvious one is the fact that um, I'll be asked to create a secure pin for my identity. The secure pin enables me to set up a two-factor authentication for this device that I'm that I'm uh, setting up at the moment. So it takes my corporate credentials and applies two-factor authentication using my device and a pin, which I, which I will provide uh, as you'll see in the next stage. So we should just about be there. And here we go. So now it's going to ask me to set up my PIN. So I'll say yes, please create a PIN. Um, it will have to verify that it's me. So what we see here is the additional verification. Um, it will send me a text, but also just to show you uh, in here, uh, I can resend that text, obviously, or I can do a call as well. So let me just uh, demonstrate the call. Uh, you won't be able to see my phone clearly, but my phone is sat next to me. And it's just ringing just now. So I'm just going to answer that, verify that is me. And then we'll see that um, continue and proceed. OK, now it's going to ask me to set up my pin. So I'll do that quickly. And continue again. So this will go through the final bit of setup and uh, the prim primary thing it's doing now is installing uh, device drivers. Uh, you'll see the icons all being installed and device drivers being installed. So this will take a, another minute or two and then we're, then we're almost done already. Okay, just confirm, obviously, because I'm joining the corporate domain through my Azure AD credentials um, to enforce the company policies. Don't really have much choice here. So yes, please. OK, 
Okay, just carry on through the process. Yes, please. You can see the icons and um, drivers are gradually being populated. Always seems to take longer when you sat sat watching it, obviously. Okay, I just need to set a resolution here. Obviously, this is on a virtual machine, so I want something suitable for recording. It's going to log me off at this point as well, so I need to log back into the machine. And there we go. My machine is pretty much ready to go. So let me show you a few uh, a few features just to confirm exactly uh, what I've done there and the fact that it is working okay. So first obvious thing is the, uh, the Windows Store. So let me go into the Windows Store and launch this. What you'll notice in the Windows Store is my organization is um, set up with a Windows Store for business. So as well as, as, well as having access to the to the user store features. You can see here, obviously, home apps, games, music, films, and TV. Um, I also have an extra uh, choice here, which is my Windows 10 UK. So if I go into Windows 10 UK, we can see here that um, I've got a bunch of applications that have been published to me through, um, through the corporate store. Um, so Word, for example, I can go in here, and as a user, I can then install Word Mobile on, the, on this machine. Uh, I've got a bunch of other applications as well, which are all being published to me by my organization. Okay. The other way that we can also see what's going on here is if I go into uh, settings in here and go into my accounts and work access, then we can see here I've got my uh, enrollment and device management is already set up. Uh, that all happens automatically when I join my domain. Uh, I've also got the ability to uh, do uh, a removal at the moment. So you can see at the moment to remove work access, um, select join or leave an organization. What I'm going to do is just speed things up by doing a resync because one of the policies that you'll see that happens through uh, the synchronization is um, I can't actually leave my organization at all. Um, that policy has been applied and, and removed to my machine. The other, some of the other policies that you'll see that uh, that will get resynced is the uh, application deployment policies as well. So the one application, uh, or in fact, I've set up a couple of applications, but the obvious one is Minecraft. Um, just for a demonstration, so you'll see an icon appear when Minecraft is deployed to my desktop. So we'll leave that syncing. Some of the other things I can show you as well is if we go into the browser, then we can have a look at uh, the single sign-on capabilities as well. So let's go in here and go to portal.office.com. And we can see I need to log in there, but very, very quickly, my single sign-on takes me through. And you'll see I go straight into uh, my office portal. And I can click on here and go into my email here. And then you'll see, obviously, I've got access directly to my web application, uh, in this case, Office. Another example, perhaps, is myapps.microsoft.com. So this is my Azure Active Directory um, application portal. And again, if I go in there, didn't ask me to log in. You can see clearly here, I am already logged in to that portal. And again, I can access my applications through here. So I've got my SharePoint and Office published to me. There's various other things I can do in here as well. Things like self-service password, um, password reset, and things like that. So I'll close that down. And the last thing to come back on then is that synchronization. So we can see that's happened. I've now got my applications being deployed to me. So I've got Minecraft there. If I go back to my settings, 
and work access. You can see my enrollment options here. Now, if we go back to that remove, we can see the policy has now been applied to say this um, you can't you can't remove yourself from the corporate uh, management. Um, I can also go into another place we can have a look at here is settings, system, and about. And then you can see in there again, I'm now part of the Windows 10 UK specialists. I'll try and disconnect again there. Um, that will remove me from my organization altogether. My policies and applications will all be removed as well. So I'm not going to do that. And that was it. So just to confirm what we've done there, we've set up a PC um, in just under 10 minutes with um, Azure Active Directory Cloud um, logon and being managed by Microsoft Intune, Microsoft Mobile Device Management Tool. And we also have single sign-on through to applications, web applications like um, Office 365 and the uh, Azure Active Directory um, application portal. So you've been listening to Andrew Warner. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, walkthrough this morning. Uh, I'm a Windows 10 specialist for Microsoft UK. Thanks very much.